It's a troublesome mix for asthmatics. The outbreak of spring and summer pollens combined with smoke from brush fires. While summer rains may cut down the pollen, it also brings lightning, which sparks brush fires and can trigger asthma attacks. Airways, the muscle around the airways tightens and then the inflammation starts coming also. It's just common sense for everyone to avoid the smoke from brush fires, but asthmatics and people with respiratory problems need to take it a step further. And most asthmatics, what will bother them is things you don't see. For example, we just had the wildfires and everyone talked about the smoke in the air, which we all cough, but it's the particles in the air that you don't see that get lower into the airways. Health experts offer some basic guidelines. First, stay indoors as much as possible. And when it comes to filtering the air, choose a HEPA mask or HEPA air filter, which can sift out the tiny particles regular dust masks can't. Remember to turn your car's air conditioning setting to recirculate. Also, use caution when it comes to cleaning up soot or ash around your house or car. Always wet the area down first. And finally, take extra precautions with children. The younger children tend to be more susceptible because their airways are smaller. Their immune systems are not as developed, so they tend to catch more of the illnesses and things that can trigger the asthma. And as always, seek medical help quickly if you have trouble breathing to extinguish any serious problems. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.